everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. So I am in Bangkok, Thailand right now on another one of my multi-week, multi-destination work trips. And whenever I'm on the road like this for weeks at a time, one of the most indispensable gadget, something that I have to carry with me, is the AR glasses, particularly the Rokit Max. So the Rokit Max, for those who may not be familiar, these are glasses with a pair of micro OLED screens inside that pump out visuals equivalent to about a 215 inch screen placed in front of my face, but at about 20 feet away. So the screen is immersive enough to fill just about my entire field of vision, but not so overwhelming that it feels like I'm sitting front row at a theater. It's just about the right distance. The display technology here uses bird bath optics, meaning the projectors are pointed away from your eyes and then the visuals are reflected back to you. This will ease eye strain a little bit because you don't have something pointing directly at your eyeballs. However, the Rokin Max does not work as a standalone device. You have to plug it in to something. So for up until very recently, I had to plug it into a smartphone or an iPad or a laptop or like something like a Nintendo Switch and just mirror the content of that device. And to be honest, that's been perfectly fine. I've been using it like that without any issues. But now Rokit has built something that's a little bit smaller and a little bit perhaps easier to use. This is the Rokit Station. And this is essentially an Android TV box, but instead of connecting to a TV or projector, you just plug the Rokit Max into this thing and you get the Android TV experience floating in front of your face. It's all completely stored in this compact device that looks like a remote control. There's a 5,000 mAh battery inside that can power this device and the Rokit Max. So that means just this thing alone will give you the Android TV experience on the go. You don't need anything else. This is actually the first Android TV box made for AR glasses. So the Rokit Station runs Android TV 12. Yes, it's a generation old as Android TV 13 is already out. But it doesn't matter too much because Android TV 12 was the major upgrade to the platform. Once the Rokit Station is plugged into the Rokit Max and connected to Wi-Fi, you have access to the entire Android TV interface in front of your face. From here, what you do depends on the app you're using. So you can watch YouTube directly on it or install apps like Disney Plus or Amazon Prime and watch the latest streaming content there. The Rokit Station itself is the remote control with clicky tactile buttons. I particularly like this circular directional pad, which reminds me of the iPod click wheel. The controls are pretty self-explanatory. You use the four-way directional pad to navigate through the UI. The button in the middle, it's like the OK confirmation button. The back button obviously backs up a page and then home button more obviously goes home. Down here is the app overview button. So you press on this to see all the apps you have installed on the Rokit station. And this button with the circle is to jump into settings. You have volume rockers on the left and right side because you control the volume directly on this remote. And now on the right side is the power button. You can also pair a conventional Android TV remote to the Rokit station, but the only benefit comes from having voice access via OK Google. Otherwise, if you don't need to use voice at all, then this will do the exact same thing as the remote. So down here are two ports. You have a USB-C port to charge the station and then a micro HDMI cable. The micro HDMI is where you're outputting content to the Rokit Max. As I mentioned, there's a 5,000 mAh battery in here that can power the Rokit station for five hours. You can also plug in a USB-C cable and charge the station while it is being used. And yeah, the battery also doubles as a battery pack to charge your phone or other devices. There's 32 gigs of internal storage in here. And yes, you can store files directly into the station for offline content. So next time I'm about to board a flight, I'll just load a couple of movies in there and then I'll be able to watch without needing to connect to the internet. You can also use the Rokit station as a Chromecast. So you can connect to a phone and then you can then mirror that phone's visual to your glasses. Now you may be wondering why do you need to do that because the glasses itself can already connect to a phone. Well first, not all phones USB-C ports supports display output. For example, the Google Pixel Fold actually does not support that. So I can't just plug in the Rokit Max into the Google Pixel Fold. I would have to go the Chromecast route if I want to mirror the Pixel Fold's visuals to the glasses. And second, the Rokit station is smaller and lighter than a typical smartphone. So it's a little bit easier to have this in your pocket and walk around the house as you're watching a YouTube video than holding a phone. Another good thing about the station running Google software is that once you log into your Google account, a lot of your saved information like such as Wi-Fi passwords or website logins will carry over to the Rokit station. So when I try to log into a Wi-Fi network that I've connected to before with another phone, I didn't need to type in a password again. It just auto-filled it for me. 
So unfortunately, I don't have the professional tools to show you exactly what I'm seeing with my eyes when I turn on the Rokit station with the Rokit Max. The best I can do is stick a phone or a camera behind the glasses to show you roughly the content that I'm seeing. As you can see here, I can see visuals overlaid into the real world because these glasses can be transparent, can be see-through. But if I want to, I can put on the lens cap to cover up the glasses so then I'm just seeing a black screen and then in this way whatever visual is pumping out in front of me is just projected onto a black space so it's a lot more immersive. It feels like I'm inside a theater with all the lights off. The beauty of the Roku station is that it is so portable and if you're in a big city chances are you have access to Wi-Fi everywhere. Like here in Bangkok there's Wi-Fi at every coffee shop, every mall, every restaurant. Even at the park you have public city Wi-Fi. So that means wherever I go, I can likely connect the Rokit station and watch YouTube or the newest episode of Secret Invasion on Disney+. Plus. Rokit has also developed a new software feature called Privacy Mode. Usually when you plug in the Rokit Max, audio comes out from the speakers underneath each arm. And when I'm playing audio, someone sitting next to me could in theory hear what I'm listening to. If I have Privacy Mode turned on, it drastically reduces sound leakage. The audio is pointed more directionally towards my ear. It actually does work. Someone sitting next to me could not hear what I was listening to at all, even though I could hear the audio is still pretty loud and clear. And of course, the Roku station can also connect to Bluetooth audio, so you can just put on wireless earbuds if you want complete privacy. So Roku station's available for pre-order now for 129 US dollars. After the pre-order period ends, the suggested retail price for just the station is 139 US dollars. There's also a bundle package with the station and the Roku Max. Pre-order price 529 US dollars, and then after that, the suggested retail price would be 549 US dollars. I think if you're someone who travels a lot, particularly you fly a lot, something like the Roku Max with the Roku station is quite indispensable because I don't want to deal with the airplane screen, particularly when the person sitting in front of me lowers the seat and then the screen is like all low and I have to like watch like that. I just don't want to do that. So now whenever I fly, I just wear the Roku Max, plug into either my phone or the Roku station and I just sit back and just watch content like that, keeping my head level. It's better for my neck, better for my posture. And the visuals I'm watching, it's better than the airplane screen for sure. So yeah, that's about it for this video on the Real Kit Station. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching.